For those of you that are interested in some of the technical details of that composite case motor, this is just a quick video on, on some of the uh, main aspects of that motor. So this motor used like a, a filament wound fiberglass case. And you can get these relatively cheap as uh, hobby rocket airframes. The uh, propellant was actually poured straight onto the case uh, and bonded straight up against the nozzle so it was a monolithic core. So it was one single core that burned straight down the center and then it was accelerated down a graphite De Laval nozzle um, which was then bonded into place with 28 1 8 inch carbon fiber pins with 331 epoxy and the front end was a G10 um, fiberglass plate 8 inch thick bonded straight onto the front uh, and then a bunch of pins were pushed in and epoxy was poured on top of that. This rocket motor used a standard HTPB ammonium perchlorate based propellant um, it was 71% uh, 200 micron ammonium perchlorate, 10% aluminum, and 19% HDPB rubber binder. Um, this is a pretty common commercial and uh, amateur propellant. With this design, I'd be pretty wary of doing a full graphite nozzle. Um, it was pretty clear by the end of the burn that the heat was getting to the epoxy and it was starting to weaken that bond and that joint at the nozzle end. But all in all, this was a pretty simple design that seems to work quite well. In order to make this design reliable, a phenolic carrier with a graphite insert would be really the best solution at keeping heat from getting into that epoxy in the case. The great thing about this design is that the nozzle is the only part of this entire motor that really requires any kind of specialized tooling to make.